I'd like to call this meeting to order. Will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Chu. Here. Mr. Sismar. Here. Mr. Hong. Mrs. Lax. Here. Mrs. Reese. Here. Mr. Seeler. Here. Mr. Simmons. Here. Mr. Winston. Here. President Becker. Here. We have a quorum. Please rise to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The New Jersey Open Public Meeting Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meetings of public bodies. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the East Brunswick Board of Education has called notice of this meeting to be published at the Board of Education offices. Also written notice was provided to the Sentinel, the Newark Star-Ledger, the Home News and Tribune, and the Municipal Clerk of East Brunswick. All Board of Education meetings, with the exception of executive session discussions, are videotape related broadcast. These meetings are not edited for any purpose. Individuals who speak at the Board's public meetings should be aware of these videotaping rules. Good evening. We're really looking forward to tonight's meeting. So we're going to start off the meeting with our superintendent's report. Thank you, President Becker. Good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to announce our district has received the Government Finance Officers Association Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting for the fourth consecutive year. The Certificate of Achievement is the highest form of recognition in governmental accounting and financial reporting, and its attainment represents a significant accomplishment by a government and its management. And I want to give thanks to Mr. Juliana, Mr. Krochfeld, and Mrs. Rosenving, who in the finance department were responsible for this achievement. On Friday, November 15th, Consulate General of the Federal Republic of Germany, Mr. David Gill, visited East Brunswick High School to engage in a dual language conversation about the fall of the Berlin Wall. Consul Gill's talk, A Peaceful Resol Revolution, 30 Years <coughs> Fall of the Berlin Wall, was attended by students of world language and history, as well as the EBHS faculty, staff, and members of the Board of Education. Dr. Suki Warner Franco's collaboration with the Goethe Institute in New York made this event possible. On Friday, November 15th, East Brunswick hosted our fourth annual Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, also known as STEM Night, at Hammershold Middle School. The event started with students Kayla Wong and Kenan Gao discussing the importance of STEM, how careers in STEM areas are expanding rapidly, and continued with the exciting hands on STEM activities. Attendees were able to gain hands-on experience by circulating among the numerous STEM stations. Ranging from computer engineering to chemistry, students were exposed to basic STEM concepts and the future of STEM-related jobs. In sports, good luck to the cross-country team. They have one participant running in the NJSIAA Meet of Champions this Saturday. Congratulations to all the athletes on a great fall season. Winter sports are here. Please check the website for up-to-date tryout information. This fall, we had three student athletes who signed letters of commitment to play in their sport at the collegiate level. We wish them well as they continue their academic and athletic careers. The high school fall drama production of Hysterical Truths, the short plays of David Ives will run Friday, November 22nd, and Saturday, November 23rd, starting at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. On Sunday, November 24th, the show will start at 3 p.m. Tickets can be purchased online at ebhsdrama.org. Join us for the East Brunswick Education Foundation Book Fair at Barnes & Noble on Saturday, December 7th. Shop at Barnes & Noble from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and support the EBEF. Students and staff will share favorite books, written works, and other presentations throughout the day. I'd like to remind everyone that Wednesday, November 27th is a single session day. Lunch will be served for grades K through 7. Schools will be closed on Thursday, November 28th, and Friday, November 29th, in celebration of Thanksgiving. And I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everyone a safe and wonderful holiday. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Valeski. Usually, our high school rep does her report at the end of the meeting, but we thought you might enjoy hearing about what's going on at our high school 
So we're going to ask her to do her report now. Hello, everyone. So um, the first thing I want to say is congratulations to the girls' tennis team and Coach Mangino because they've obviously had an amazing season and they're here to get honored tonight. And um, Miss Mangino is an amazing coach and also an amazing gym teacher. So we're really lucky to have her. Um, also, the quarter just ended. So the seniors all hit their deadlines of October 15th or November 1st or November 15th. And uh, report cards are coming out. And although the rollout was challenging <coughs> at first for these one-to-one -one devices, it was ultimately successful. And we've uh, incorporated it into our everyday class routine. So it's fantastic. Um, as Dr. Valeski said, the drama show is coming up, so we should all attend. I have a lot of friends in Drama Club. They've been working really hard, and it's going to be a great show. Um, we also have Powderpuff coming up. So Powderpuff is an NHS event where girls play football and guys cheerlead, and all the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society for cancer research. And that will be on November 26th at 6 p.m. at the high school football field. Uh, tickets are $6 if you want to join us. It'll be a great event. And afterwards, we have a bonfire. Um, we have also had a very successful fall season generally for all the sports. And we have tryouts for winter sports coming up. Um, at the high school, we have principal's <coughs> council next week. So that's when all the student body leaders and any other students who want to join, as well as counselors and teachers, um, can come together and talk to the students about what we're feeling and what needs to be changed at the high school, what we can improve upon, what we're doing well already. And we can just work together to enhance the student experience at the high school. And we specifically are going to be working on uh, discussing how we use time, technology, and um, how we respect the load the students carry outside of school. That way, they can live a more balanced lifestyle, ultimately be more successful and prepared for the real world. Um, and besides that, we're also working on uh, getting ready for Alumni Day in December, where all our wonderful alumni will return. We can hang out with them on December 20th. So we're just preparing for that. That's it. When do you guys have time to go to class? <laughs> <laughs> As always, a great report. Thank you. Good to hear about all the things that are happening at the high school. Thank you. Uh, we're going to start off our presentations this evening with uh, learning across the district from Chittick and Central School. Dr. Valeski, would you like to introduce the program, please? So we have the, uh, the Chittick School is going to talk about mind mindfulness. Hi, my name is Jane Garvin, and I'm a fourth grade teacher at Chittick, and these are my lovely friends who joined me tonight. Um, last fall, we started practicing mindfulness um, in our class, and we've continued it this year with my new class. Um, we make sure that we incorporate it after special in the AM session and after lunch with my PM session. Um, we've been taking a few minutes um, to uh, relax our bodies and focus our minds. Um, we'll listen to some relaxing music. We'll concentrate on our breath. Um, we read books about mindfulness. Um, we have practiced positive self-talk and positive affirmations. Uh, some of the things <laughs> we practice are body scans for uh, stress and <coughs> relaxation. We do some visualization techniques of our happy, peaceful place. Um, we've gotten some really great feedback from my students who ask for it. Um, the parents in my classroom have given positive feedback as well, saying they know their children are using it at home. Um, the other staff members that are in my classroom will say, we're doing mindfulness today. <laughs> um, so everybody has really um, gotten on board and appreciate those mindfulness breaks. Um, it really helps with stress and anxiety and focus. Um, so we thought that we would share a mindful moment with you today. Um, if you'd like to practice with us, you don't have to if you don't want to. But we have my rain stick that was a gift from my sister who also practices mindfulness. It's contagious, so watch out. Everybody's going to do it. So my friends, if you'd like, gently close your eyes and get yourself in an upright position. Okay? While 
you hear the sound of the rain stick, you're just going to think about the rain stick and your breath. And that's all you're going to think about. You're not going to think about yesterday, and you're not going to think about tomorrow. You're just going to concentrate on the sound of this rain stick and your breath. That's it. Just in this moment now. When you no longer hear the rain stick, you're going to raise your hand. Now take your hand and place it on your heart. Take a few final deep breaths. Before you continue your day or end your day, I want you to give yourself a positive message. Say something nice to yourself. Practice some self-love. Be kind to yourself. You can do it. You got this. I can grow from my mistakes. I'm trying my best. I'm a hard worker. One final deep breath, and you're going to open your eyes, and you're going to be ready for the rest of your day. So now my friends, who just actually <coughs> suggested that that's the order in which we did the, our presentation, are going to share why they enjoy and appreciate mindfulness. Go ahead, Jeff. Hi, my name is Joey. I'm a student of Ms. Carvin. Have you ever been stressed? You should do mindfulness. Mindfulness is a calming thing you can do. It can be as simple as one minute breathing practice. It helps me with tests because I'm nervous, then I do mindfulness, and boom, I get back good work. <laughs> I think you should do mindful too. Hello, my name is Sophia. There are so many reasons why I love mindfulness. We get to calm ourselves down after a crazy recess. Mindfulness helps the class set their goal for the day and gets rid of all the bad thoughts. It helps us focus and it calms us down. If you ever feel stressed, upset, or frustrated, you should definitely try doing mindfulness. It will help you concentrate, focus, and calm down. Hi, my name is Majesty. Some things I like about mindfulness is that it can help us focus in class way better. Another thing I like about mindfulness is that it can help get all your bad thoughts off your head and your good and amazing thoughts on your head. That is why I love mindfulness. Hi, my name is Nysa. I love mindfulness because it calms me down. It calms me down by me focusing and paying attention. I also use it to go to sleep. For example, one time I couldn't sleep, so I did mindfulness and went to sleep very quickly. Last, I even did a body scan mindfulness with my mom. This is why I love mindfulness. Hi, my name is Nikita. I like doing mindfulness because it gets you focused on what you're doing. It is very quiet, so you won't get distracted. It also helps you forget all your bad thoughts. These are some of the reasons why I like mindfulness. Hi, my name is Tiana. In mindfulness, we always start by closing our eyes softly, then breathe in and out for about one minute. When I am done, I feel every memory just got lost and I forget everything of what I was doing in class. Also, it makes you feel like I am on a set of clouds. It's relaxing, you should try it, it helps. Thank you for listening. I'm in fourth grade and from Miss Garvin's room. She is amazing. Mind she is an amazeful <laughs> amazing mindfulness teacher. Thank you and bye. <laughs> Hi, my name is Layla and I'm a student of Miss Garvin. I think mindfulness is helpful because it helped you calm your mind of anything negative or stressful. It also helps you fall asleep if you can. Finally, it helps you concentrate. This is why I feel mindfulness helps. So I'm very grateful for my friends who joined me today. And that's one of the other things we talk about in mindfulness. We bring in our growth mindset and we bring in kindness and gratitude. And I'm very grateful to be here with all of you and for my students. And I appreciate that. And I think everybody, if you, we could just maybe 
take a moment every day for a little mindfulness, we could all benefit from that. Thank you so much for having us. That was just wonderful. We often hear that we need more kindness in the world, and this is how we're going to get it, with our children leading the way, one step at a time. Thank you for sharing that with us. And now we have several presentations to give out. It was Central. Central. Oh, sorry, Central. Jump the gun. Looking at you girls, sorry, distracted me. However, how could I forget about our Central students? Dr. Valeski, would you like to introduce them? Sure. We have Central Elementary School here tonight uh, to talk about <laughs> their win program or their win time, what I need time. So will Central Elementary come up? been using our what I need time to um, help students get extra time during the day and really focus on things that they need we've also been pushing to change and shift our class from where the students are just hearing information and consuming the knowledge and empowering them to create knowledge so our students have learned how to create a Google slideshow and they put one together of the multiplication that they found all around our school this is a picture of the buddy bench. Do you know there's actually six windows on, I mean balloons on the buddy bench? So can I read the number story? Minnie built four buddy benches. Each buddy bench has six balloons. How many balloons are there in all? Four times six equals blank. Does anyone know the answer to that problem? <laughs> You, right there. Um, 24 is the answer. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So we went outside and we took a picture of the windows and our number story is there are 44 little windows in all. Each big window has 11 windows in it. If they add one more window, how many little windows will there be in all? 44 divided by 11 plus 11 equals what? It, yeah. Um, yeah. 15. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is a picture of our, um, of our climbing rock walk. There are two groups of four rocks on a rock wall. How many rocks are on the rock wall? Two times four equals eight. <laughs> <laughs> This is a picture of the basketball hoop, and this is my number story. There are 20 kids that want to play basketball. There are 10 people that are very good at basketball. How can the teams be split in evenly? So 10 divided by 2 equals question mark, and the answer is 5. 10 divided by 2 equals question mark, and the answer is 5. And the teams could have 10 people in all. Mr. Juliana, can we put in for a new hoop for Central? <laughs> please. I've got, I've got a month to go. Can we get that, please? So in addition to creating Google Slides, they've also worked on videos that teach different math games that they've learned and worked on as well. So it's just the beginning. We still have the whole rest of the year ahead of us. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Yeah, nice job. Good job. And now we have some recognitions. Dr. Valeski, if you'd join me outside, please. Sure.
the 2019 New Jersey State Champions. And by the way, please keep in mind, even though we use the word high school varsity team, that we do have students from Churchill Junior High also on the team. So we're very proud of all the students for the purpose of tonight, you Churchillites, your high school students. <laughs> okay, before we start our series of recog uh, recognitions, I would like to ask the board for a motion on recognitions one through four. So moved. Moved by Mr. Winston, second by Mrs. Lax. You'll have time to discuss after each one, but I will say, is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Okay. Whereas, skillful play along with motivation, determination, and exemplary team sportsmanship led the East Brunswick High School varsity girls tennis team to an awesome season record of 21 Zero. The GMC Red Division title, the GMC title, the Group 4 Central Sectional title, and overall state championship. Where is this accomplishment a tribute to the dedication and commitment of these student athletes has brought local and state recognition to their school, the district, and the community. Now therefore be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends these students and their coaches for this outstanding achievement. In a word, you guys are awesome. And not just because you're state champs, but because of what it took to get there. Because being a student athlete, particularly in our district, is so rigorous. I know what you gave up in order to, to have the time to practice. And I, I know about the hours you cram studying on, on the bus or driving to and from practice and the things you missed, but what you gained. You gained an experience you will never, ever forget. And the sportsmanship and grace and class that you took with you along the way to get there is what we really celebrate. And to your parents, your sacrifices and the time and energy you have spent on your children is incredible. And I know that this is just the first of many things you're going to be applauding them for for the rest of their lives. And to their coaches, it starts at the top. And what a top this one is. It's commitment, it's loyalty, it's dedication, it's hard work, it's a sense of humor all the time, and it's caring for students more than anyone could possibly imagine. Sorry, I happen to know this. So, we're now going to call your names. I want to like you to come up here, and then we'll have time for pictures. But first I want to ask if anyone else on the board had anything else to discuss? Okay. So, Naomi Kartik. Christina Steiner. Adriana Mactella. <laughs> Lexi Rojkaven. Assistant coach, Corey Widmeyer. And head coach. Debbie Mangino. Let's just sit 
catch up nice for your parents. Maybe, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, good. We'll stay here, just turn this way a little bit. You would turn just in that way a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> in there, you good? All right, folks. Check the leg workout. Take as long as you want. If you want to come up, get a good shot. Go ahead, please. This is your moment to know. Oh, right. I slip out. Let's go, Mrs. Becker. Come on. Come on. Come on. Safety Art Contest Grand Prize winner, whereas based on the quality of his artwork, Hammerschold student Max Zau's artwork was selected as one of the grand prize winners in the 20 in the annual 2019 Road Safety Art Contest by the U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, whereas Max's artwork will be featured in the 2020. <coughs> Um, Federal Motor Carrier Administration's calendar, and whereas the role model for excellence in the arts, Max is an inspiration and motivator for his peers and has brought honor and recognition to his school, the district, and the entire community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends Hammerschold student Max Zhao for this outstanding achievement. Max. So I have the honor of, of, of explaining the proclamation for American Education Week, November 18th through the 22nd, 2019. We, I move that the Board of Education approve the following proclamation. Whereas public schools are the backbone of our democracy, providing young people with the tools they need to maintain our nation's precious values of freedom, civility, and equality. Whereas by equipping young Americans with both practical skills and broader intellectual abilities, Schools give them hope for and access to a productive future. And whereas public education employees, be they administrators, teachers, health and student service workers, media specialists, custodians, bus drivers, clerical workers, food service professionals, 
skilled trades workers, school security officers, technical employees, or substitutes work tirelessly to serve our children and communities with care and professionalism. And whereas public schools encourage community by bringing together adults and children, educators and volunteers, <coughs> business leaders and elected <coughs> officials for a common purpose, now therefore be resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education proclaims November 18th through the 22nd, 2019 as American Education Week. And we ask that Dr. Dana Zambicki, Michael Wil Wildermuth, and Lindsey Grossman please come forward so we can take a picture with you. Pretend that I'm a lot taller and a male because my husband actually, I'm kind of excited, thank you Vicki for letting me do this one, um, was part of the ULI that helped um, Mr. Mondry bring this wonderful program here and I'm so excited that you got this award. So I'm really proud and honored to be the one that gets to give this to you. So I move that the Board of Education approve the following resolution, whereas the Urban Land Institute is a land simulation unit that provides high school students the opportunity to work collaboratively to develop a city, and whereas this Urban Land Institute unit was included in Mark Mondry's Institute for Political and Legal Education class during the 2018-2019 school year, and whereas the Urban Land Institute is proud to honor East Brunswick High School Social Studies teacher Mark Mondry with the 2019 Educator of the Year Award, <coughs> And whereas this accomplishment, a tribute to his dedication and commitment to the students of East Brunswick, has brought recognition to East Brunswick Public Schools, now therefore be it resolved that the East Brunswick Board of Education recognizes and commends <coughs> Mark Laundry for this outstanding accomplishment. I'm now going to call for a five-minute recess so that uh, parents can take their children home. Of course, you're all welcome to stay. We have a fascinating meeting coming up, but five-minute recess. Okay, this isn't that bad. Some of you stayed. That's good. Okay. Now we are up to the good of the cause of the public. The Board of Education recognizes the value of public comment on an educational issue and the importance of providing an opportunity to the public to express themselves. To allow for a fair and orderly public comment period, individual comments are limited to five minutes. Members of the public are reminded this is a public televised meeting. To protect the privacy of students and staff, concerns regarding individual students and staff members should generally be addressed by first meeting with the appropriate administrative staff. Is there anyone who wishes to address the board tonight? Please come up to the microphone, sir. Am I the only one? Uh, so far, yes. Okay. And please state your name and address for the record. Thank you so much. I really don't need this little platform. Hi. My name is Joel Henkin. Uh, I came here to voice my displeasure with the uh, administration of the Board of Education. So I'm stating right off why I'm here. Okay. Um, I am, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm a 48 year resident of East Brunswick. My wife and I have been very much involved in this community, and this is the first time I've ever been to a Board of Education meeting. Uh, but tonight, as I said, I really am upset about the things that have not taken place. Okay. Personally, I've served on the zoning board for 13 years in this town. I'm a past president of the JCs, which no longer exists, 
and that was a group of volunteers. One of the things we did, we started the Reclamation Center with Gene Walling. Um, I've also been president of the East Brunswick Soccer Club, all right, a member of the board of Elijah's Promise for a dozen years, and uh, currently serving on uh, township committees. Uh, my wife has been president of League of Women Voters, East Brunswick Friends of the Library, and she is the person who invites speakers to the East Brunswick Township uh, Friends meetings uh, and open meetings in the township. My kids have benefited from East Brunswick schools. They went on to Harvard, Stanford, Duke, and Wharton. Okay, my oldest son was the valedictorian here, East Brunswick scholar athlete earning nine letters. Okay, and why am I here? Okay, and why am I complaining about uh, the, the Board of Education? On September 7, one of my son's friends from grade school and high school attended a family function, my family function in New York. I asked the person if he would come and talk to the students in East Brunswick, and he said yes. The person is Dr. Scott Gottlieb, who graduated with my son and served for two years until earlier this year as the director of the Food and Drug Administration in Washington. As a caring human being and as someone concerned about the youth, obviously my involvement in various youth activities, I assume that uh, Scott, who is most associated with anti-vaping and anti-smoking, would be welcomed to this community. I went to the mayor right after that event in the beginning of September, okay? And he put me in touch with Jen Stetson. Jen Stetson proceeded to contact various people in the Board of Education, has gotten nowhere, okay? That was the beginning of September. A plan, and I'm cutting this all short, was finally offered in the past couple of weeks, okay? Instead of talking to the students, which is what I asked him, I obviously, could not invite him in behalf of the town, but I could ask him if he would be willing to come and talk to the students in the town. Instead of talking to the students, the principal of Hammershold wants him to talk to 10 to 15 people at a PTA meeting. And then if they like what he says, then they're gonna uh, project it and stream it to additional people, okay? I've not spoken to Dr. Gottlieb because I personally consider this an insult. Apparently people have their own agenda and this is a shameful indication of what the East Brunswick school system is doing, or I should say not doing, okay, on a very important subject, a subject that, of course, is killing kids around the country, okay? Dr. Gottlieb had agreed that he would talk to students, uh, and he could easily come to the library. My wife could invite him. He'd fill the library, okay, but that was not the intent, all right? And I think that if he could come here and talk to the kids, he might convince maybe one kid not to smoke, maybe one kid not to vape, and that might save a life. And if the Board of Education had done something when they should have back in September, he could have been here already, and that might have been helpful to this community. And that's why I'm upset about everything that the Board of Education is doing. As I said, I've been here a long time resident and very involved, and I, I wish something could be done instead of saying that, hey, we have to wait till February okay, for him to come here, I think that's wrong. Thank you. I, I welcome any questions, by the way. I feel like this is the first I'm hearing of this, so. Um, I'm aware, so wait, I, I'll, I'll You've known forward. since the beginning. We should not engage in any back and forth. I know, I just want to turn it over. Once again, I welcome any questions. Thank you, sir. Okay. Is there anyone else who wishes to address the board tonight? Hello, my name is Catherine Nguyen. I live on Old Tenant Court. I have a child in Warren Stuffer and a child in Hammerschild. Um, I obviously come here talking about pollution and environmental <coughs> issues. And I've given solutions, but these are solutions that are not sustained by a large group. Um, this is Sustainable Jersey for Schools. I'm told that <coughs> people might be aware of this. If they're not, I'm hoping to make them aware of this. This is, I'm not affiliated with this, by the way, but I do um, endorse it. This is probably the best way for a school 
to begin the process of becoming a sustainable school system. And again, you're not helping the children if you're teaching them to pollute, to throw out the disposable lifestyle. That is not helping children. What is helping them is teaching them the right thing where too bad, you gotta wash a dish. Too bad, reuse your spoon. I mean, that's where it has to be. We're throwing out half a million a year. It's been going on for 10 years. The landfill, again, closes in 10 years due to capacity. After that, people will start complaining. Now is the time to act. Um, so back onto this. This is something that the school board must adopt a resolution of participation and then register at Sustainable Jersey for Schools. There's a website. Each school and district may register on the program website. The website provides the list of sustainability actions and implementation tools available. This becomes a very good access point for information as other schools join this program. I'm familiar with this program for the town because East Brunswick is using the town version of this. They have a bronze status, and they are just about to uh, obtain a silver status. Um, it is well researched. It's a large group that's doing this. I believe this is a nonprofit through one of the universities. And it gives all these different point systems, and it really explains how to start teaching children to treat the earth properly. Because again, if they have no earth to live on, uh, all these awards are kind of useless. So um, uh, this <coughs> is for the board to consider. And I'll take any questions as well. None. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can we have a question? Can I say something? Yeah. Please. Regarding the I vaping. Well, no, I was, I was just told to make a statement. Something short. Okay. So I was asked to make a statement regarding the uh, request to have a speaker uh, come to the district about vaping. Um, you and I didn't personally speak. No, we did not. Okay. So, but members of my staff have spoken with you. And some of the things they indicated, they had to hear him speak first. There were a number of things that was, I don't, this is not meant to be a back and forth. Right. I assure right. you. No. But some of the things that they said, I'm not going to say, uh, were, were beneficial to this community. Let's so, put it that way. So I want to assure you that we are interested in the health of our students, and we have invested in programs to assist um, in students understanding the, the, the ramifications of smoking and vaping. Um, but we do vet people who come to speak before our student body. And that is one piece that, that may have come across in the conversation. So I just didn't want that to be misinterpreted as us taking a stance to say, no, we're not interested. But we are interested in what the messaging is. Sir, he is on a speaking tour, okay? He speaks around the country to various organizations. You probably can find him on YouTube. I have. Okay, the implication that someone has to listen to him first and to what he is saying. You had a person here from Germany. Did you hear him speak first? Do you know what he was saying? I'm sure you didn't. You had no idea what he was going to say to students. Sir, I, um, we, we greatly appreciated you taking I the time. I didn't come here to fight with anyone. No, 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 no. I just, I, the board wanted Dr. Valeski to say something to acknowledge right. your passion and your dedication to this community. But at this point, I'm going to encourage you and Dr. Valeski to have a conversation. I've attempted that. Okay. Well, I think that perhaps if you would speak to the lovely lady in back I, of I you, tried that. Trudy. I've tried that. No, if you, nowhere. if you would give her your contact information. She has my contact information. We okay. Do. We, we, we. All right. So we will arrange for a talk, okay? Thank you for coming. Uh, I thank you very much. I, I once again, as I okay. said, I'm looking the best interest of this town as I have for many years, almost 50 years. Understood, sir. Thank you. We appreciate it. And I wanted you to know that I'm very familiar with Sustainable Jersey for schools and for towns. I worked for a sustainable nonprofit for many years that worked hand in hand with them. And um, we will absolutely, if nothing else, like you said, what they propose is a terrific blueprint for any school district or municipality. It's got great ideas. So thank you again for coming.
Is there anybody else who wishes to speak to the board? Seeing none, I close the public portion and we will move on to tonight's agenda. Can I please have a motion for item one on the Board of Education agenda policies first reading? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Lax. Second by Mr. Winston. Is there any discussion? Will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Chu. Yes. Mr. Sismar. Yes. Mrs. Lax. Yes. Mrs. Reese. Yes. Mr. Seeler. Yes. Mr. Simmons. Yes. Mr. Winston. Yes. President Becker. Yes. Motion carried. On our curriculum and instruction agenda, can I please have a motion for items one through three? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Lax. Second. I'm sorry? Second. Second by Mr. Simmons. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Under the facility agenda, can I please have a motion for item one? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Lax. Second. Second by Mrs. Chu. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Before we move on to the financial services agenda, I wanted to remind board members that under item five, the travel approved list, I'm getting to it. Travel report, yes, that's what it's called. If you are um, reference or under the bill list payments issue, if you are reference as receiving a payment, you need to abstain from that purchase order number. If everyone would like to take a minute and look at the bill list, something they should have done before they came tonight. This is true. Yeah. The bill is agenda item two, financial services. Okay, we'll take it slow. So we'll do that one first. Can I have a motion for items one and two? Bill list. Moved by Mr. Simmons. Second. Second by Mrs. Lax. Is there any discussion? We're not all in this at this point. No, but if you are, if you are, if, you, if some of you are. Some of us are. Yes. Okay. We'll take it nice and slow. Okay. I found it. All those in favor? I, I, one and two. Opposed? Uh, yeah, so okay, if we're going to abstain, we'll yes. go around Chad the table. Mr. Seeler, are you abstaining? Particular yeah. numbers. You have yes. To give yes. Just the yeah. purchase okay. order number, Just the purchase please. order number. The P oh. number, right? Mm -hmm. yes. 2003760. Thank you. I don't have any in this one. So you, you. I'm good. You're good. I, I Mrs. Chu. You're good. Okay. Mrs. Lax? Abstention on P2003758. Noted. Okay. Uh, me? Sure. I'm abstaining on purchase order P2003753. Noted. Abstain purchase order number P2003842. Uh, Noted. Okay. Thank you, everyone. And now can I please have a motion for the remainder of the financial uh, so services, items three through five, moved by Mr. Simmons. Second. Second by Mr. Winston. Is there any discussion? This is a roll call vote. Will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Chu. Yes. Mr. Sismar. Yes. Mrs. Lax. Yes. Mrs. Reese. Yes. Mr. Sealer. Yes. Mr. Simmons. Yes. Mr. Winston. Yes. President Becker. Yes, motion carries. Moving on to human resources, can I please have a motion for item number one? So moved. Moved by Mrs. Lax. Second. Second by Mr. Simmons. Is there any discussion? Roll call vote. Will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Chu. Yes. Mr. Sismar. Yes. Mrs. Lax. Yes. Mrs. Reese. Yes. Mr. Sealer. Yes. Mr. Simmons. Yes. Mr. Winston. Yes. President Becker. Yes, motion carries. Student services, I'd like to combine items one through four. 
So moved. Moved by Mrs. Lax. Second. Second by Mrs. Chu. Chu. Thank you. Sorry. Hard of hearing out of the Chu. Is there any discussion? This is also a roll call vote. Will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Chu. Yes. Mr. Sismar. Yes. Mrs. Lax. Yes. Mrs. Reese. Yes. Mr. Sealer. Yes. Mr. Simmons. Yes. Mr. Winston. Yes. President Becker. Yes. Motion carries. We now have committee reports, information items, the good of the cause of the board. I would just like to congratulate um, our two incumbents on their successful bids for re-election. Lee Wu Hong is not here tonight, uh, but Mark says we are. So Mark, we look forward to having you with us for another three years. Congratulations. Thank you. Any committee reports? <coughs> Any, Lori? Take it. <laughs> oh. um, I just wanted to thank um, Trudy, Dr. Valeski, and everyone who had uh, Mrs. Reese and I at the consulate, uh, the consulate general, Gil. General. His, his speech was really terrific. I wish you all could have been there, and I actually was a little sad that my husband and kids were not high school students at the time because I really found it so fascinating, and it was really nice to see Dr. Um, uh, Franco, right, mm -hmm. Silco Warner Franco, she gave such an impassioned um, introduction and talked about her history um, and growing up there and how her uh, history kind of um, molded her and her views of this and then hearing his fascinating story. Um, but I have to say the greatest, uh, Barbara, you may or may not agree with this, but the greatest thing to me was seeing our students not only engage in conversation with him, but fluently in German. They were impressive. They, they, they were asked impressive. such thoughtful questions in another language. And I just, so I have to say, and thank you, and Dr. Vanella, your school, thank you so much. Um, it was really, it was an incredible experience, and I really was um, amazed to be a part of it. Is it possible um, when we have something like that, since a lot of people, a lot of us can attend or others, that we could videotape, if not the student portion, the speaker portion? Sure, the technology, uh, we could do that. Legal? Mm -hmm. You can do that. Okay, so do you think about maybe? And then the other thing, um, so hopefully everyone will be at the high school for the lovely, um, well, no, the powder puff too, but the plays. Um, but I just wanted, because this one is probably something that's not on everyone's radar, um, but A Night with the Stars of Creative Communicators um, is a play directed by Mark Corallo. It's performed by students with autism and communication needs. It's going to be also on Sunday at Churchill at 3 p.m. Um, my daughter's actually at Churchill right now working on that, and they're helping with these students. It's a pre-show at the red carpet. They're doing a red carpet pre-show at 2 p.m. Um, you can reserve tickets online. I will give you a copy of this. I don't know if we can get it out. Um, Mrs. Davis, I'm not sure if you've seen this. Uh, I just think it's terrific, and they are grant-funded, um, and I just think it's such a wonderful opportunity for these children that normally you wouldn't be able to have the communication skills to be on stage. So if you find yourself hopefully going to the high school either Friday or Saturday so that 3 p.m. on Sunday you are free, um, hopefully I'll see a lot of you there because I really think it'll be just a beautiful event. So I'll give you this. Barbara? I have uh, one committee and one good as a cause. So I'll do okay. the committee first, right? So the policy committee met on October the 29th, and during these uh, meetings we update, we make important updates to mandated and non-mandated policies, and we had a first reading on a bunch of those policy updates today. Uh, policies are then, uh, there's a first reading, and then there's a second reading is approved by the board, and once they're approved, they're on the portal. So for folks that want to see updates of the different, so we had subjects ranging from school security to uh, <coughs> use and distribution, yeah, how did I say it right, use of possession or distribution of substances, so all things related to drugs and uh, important uh, security issues that people may be interested in. You can look online, it's very user friendly, I tried it, you can look up by the number, you can look up by the topic. I know this is probably not what you want to do in your free time, but if you want to know what's going on in the school system, that's a good way to look. Because um, at first it could be a little overwhelming. They were, they were in binders when I first got them, big binders, but now we are all on top of this, to, uh, updated, so it's easy to access. Uh, and then the other is uh, a good of the cause. I thank Dr. Boley for inviting uh, the board, and uh, I am a geek in this way. I enjoy going to these uh, professional development, even though I'm not uh, 
uh, part of that uh, sphere now is in the board I am, but not at the daily, uh, per, daily teaching. But I'm very excited to hear about professional development. And we're very thankful to our district and to our board for providing these opportunities for our teachers. And this is from Teachers College, Columbia University, the Reading and Writing Project. And what they do is they, it's a really a very big honor. In fact, we're very lucky that Ms. Bonnie LeBoy brought down uh, these folks to come. She's the Director of Professional Learning, Evaluation, and Assessment. And it's a big honor to have Columbia University to come down to your school. I mean, there are many, many schools that apply for them to come give. And in fact, whole companies make their businesses copying what Columbia University does. So we're very fortunate that our teachers are learning from the horse's mouth, although they're very pretty and lovely people, of course, but just an expression. And I met, I met the folks that came down. They were, the, 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 the woman that came and taught this professional development was wonderful. And what I thought was special about it was that, that actually they model it for the teachers. The teachers then uh, work together cooperatively to plan. Then the, te then the uh, professional staff developer comes <coughs> in and models it with the students. And then the teachers actually do the activity in small groups. So it's not just you're, you're watching a webinar and you're learning it that way. You're actually hands on doing this. is with shared reading. So it's this very important skill. I was there for the K to 2. I'll let you know when I go for the 3 to 5. And you should rest assured that you, you know, this, our, our students are getting the very best in literacy development. No better. So, thank you. Thank you, Barbara, and thank you for always taking the time to attend these things. It's greatly appreciated. Mark, I'll take a I'll take a hybrid uh, security committee report slash good of the cause. Um, the security committee we don't say a lot of things publicly, obviously for you know the security yeah reasons. security reasons confidentiality, but be assured. Um, from Dr. Valeski, Dr. Figueroa, our Director of Security, Paul Natalicio, to the principals, staff, and most importantly from the reports I get, the students, they get involved. They take these drills that we do seriously. And we've received very positive reports all the way up to the state level from how our students, staff, and administration perform in the security drills. And like I said, it's kind of when I speak, it's not a lot of detail, and that's, and that's for a reason. But I did want to say something publicly about how well you know, our staff and students perform out there, and it's, it's fantastic. I've gone on drills. I've been in the schools, and the kids take it seriously, and, and you know, it's, it's from the top on down, like I said. So I just wanted to say something publicly about uh, some recent drills we've had and stuff. And, Kudos to everybody involved. There was a involved. state drill last week, correct? Oh. Because correct. my son came home correct. and actually told me um, that it was through the state, it wasn't ours, that they actually tried to trick the students, that the teacher said, I need to send a ki uh, somebody down. I need a volunteer to go in and give attendance. And my son said, no, we're not allowed to do that. And they said, I think that we were the only, one of the only schools, or we had nobody. They said this doesn't happen very often, but not one student came down at, at Hammershold the other day. That's, That's true, or Memorial. Okay. Oh, how wonderful. Well, the, the, yeah. the news not one has kid. been full of horrific things that continue to happen to um, the children in this country. So um, security is as crucial a part, I'd say, of our culture as academics, the arts, and uh, athletics at this point. And I um, do want to commend all the people involved in our security. Um, there's nothing more important. And not to give away any of the, uh, the, uh, the detail work that Mark and his group has been doing, I will say that a change made this year, and I, did get, I have gotten a lot of feedback from, from parents, the level of communication coming down from administration in cooperation with the police during a couple of these investigations that caused lockdown, and I saw no panic online. Uh, the communication came out quickly, uh, a lot of comfort. Uh, everybody knew what was going on. I saw no rumors. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing was inflated, conflated, or deflated as to the magnitude of what was going on. So I do commend the communication system uh, that is working now and uh, have seen incredible results from where we were about a year ago. So I think I, Dr. Valeski has. Um, and his entire staff, but personally has gone out of his way to ensure that um, 
the, the safe being of the parents in terms of their mental stability when these things happen, mm -hmm. you just uppermost in your mind besides the students and the staff safety is making sure our parents feel safe and want to commend and, you for that. Well, thanks, but that's not just me. That's the entire team uh, approach. Yes. So, um, you know, and I applaud the board for, for supporting the efforts that we've, we've done to this point to, uh, and we continue to grow. This is, this is a process that never stops. Uh, and, um, and we learn from each situation, but, um, thank you. And I, speaking of Dr. Valeski, I don't believe that we have talked about, um, contract that we've recently entered into with Dr. Valeski. Um, the board offered Dr. Valeski not just a renewal, but an extension of the contract, and we are very, very fortunate that he has agreed to be, stay our superintendent for five more years. So, um, <laughs> maybe not? No, no. I'm, I'm very happy. Um, you know, no, it, you know, the five years since 2014 has gone by very fast. And we've, as a team, we've accomplished a lot. And we have a lot of goals. We have a lot of expectations over the next five years. Um, and some of, the, some of the faces around the board were at the interview table when I was hired. But a lot of new faces. And we've, since that time, a lot of new staff. And it, it's just amazing to watch the students progress through the system. So it's been a great journey for me. And I appreciate every opportunity this board has given me. So thank you. Thank you. And we thank see you. it. We see it with the kids who are here tonight, not just the, the athletes who are incredible. The, the things that they're doing in our elementary schools. Um, we have administrators who come to our meetings and show their support and are doing terrific jobs running buildings or running subject areas. The staff, the support staff, the paraprofessionals, everybody in central office. It, it is a team effort. And um, we are very, very grateful to have a good team leader. So, thanks, thanks, Chief. Anybody else? I'd say uh, it's something I, I was told a long time ago: uh, speed of the leader, speed of the pack. So, you know, like you said, having Dr. Valeski at the helm, and uh, for the sports people, I called him our franchise superintendent now because we've uh, we've signed him on now. So, I don't know if I'm allowed to take that term, but. Uh, you know, I appreciated being an employee of the district and now being on the board. I've seen both sides of Dr. Valeski and, you know, good job. Thanks. Okay. Um, Chad, we're going to say all the nice things we have to say about you until our uh, last meeting in December. So we're not going to say anything about nice yet. about you today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's going to get sick. Oh, yeah, nice. I know. Okay, anybody else have anything for tonight? We do have a need for closed session. So, whereas the Board of Education must discuss matters which are not appropriate for discussion in public meeting, and those matters are those listed in tonight's agenda. Can I please have a motion? The length of the closed session is estimated to be 90 minutes, after which the public meeting of the Board shall reconvene and action may be taken. So moved. Moved by Mrs. Lax. Second. Second by Mr. Sismar. Is there any discussion? The Wonder Twins. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>